welcome to another series of videos in which we'll be talking about how to format our thesis or our research paper in many a times uh, in my experience i have seen that uh, research work is very well written there are very good findings the whole research is very good but just because it is not formatted well the evaluators usually reject it so formatting is an important part of your thesis or of your research paper so in this uh, series we'll be talking about uh, different requirements uh, for the formatting of the thesis and remember that mainly we'll be following the apa style which means american psychological association style of the uh, thesis or of the research paper for other styles like harvard chicago and uh, mla etc you can uh, see other videos in which we'll be talking about uh, these different styles so uh, just a short introduction of this series of uh, videos today's video will uh, include how to write the abstract in which we'll be talking about different elements of the abstract and what are some of the do's and don'ts of the abstract but in coming videos initially we'll also be talking about how to make table of content then how to make chapters in the thesis how to do the thesis formatting as in line spacing the alignment part the indention part and all those things we'll be talking about in this topic then we'll also be talking about how to cite references in apa and then how to make end references or the bibliography using ms word we'll also be talking about how to make tables in apa so uh, all these things uh, we will be talking about in our uh, series but for today's video we'll be talking about the abstract part although uh, this is written at the end of the research paper or a thesis but it is something that is read uh, at the very first sight when somebody is reading reading your thesis or a paper this is the first thing that they interact with so abstract is an important thing that we need to understand how to write it and what are the do's and don'ts of the abstract so let's start and as we can see that the first thing readers get an idea of your research or of your thesis is after reading the abstract this will also save them a lot of time because after reading this one page or half a page or 150 250 words or maybe 300 words they will have a very clear understanding of what is your paper or what is your thesis so there are different ways or styles to write an abstract but the main purpose is the same as we've already said that we will be using the apa style of formatting thesis or writing the thesis that is why we are only discussing the apa style of the abstract so first of all apa abstract is known as the summary of your paper or of your thesis or of your research which usually contains 150 to 250 words so in just 150 to 250 words you have to summarize your full length thesis or a paper or your research work so before reader wants to read your full paper or thesis they should go through this abstract part and if they feel that it is related to their area of interest or their area of research then they are going to read your paper further otherwise they might not read it so you need to facilitate the reader that uh, if if your research is uh, inclined towards their research area that is why you write this abstract so write the abstract after you have finished your paper why because we have to summarize everything that is there in the research paper that is why you can only do it once you have finished your paper or finish your research and place it on a separate page after the title page 
So immediately after the title page, there has to be your abstract. If you're sending your paper to some publication, uh, for the publication to some journal, they have their own requirements. So please follow those requirements when you're sending it for publication. But otherwise, if you're writing it for thesis, after the uh, title page, you will be presenting your abstract. We'll also be talking about uh, the preliminary pages of the thesis in which we'll also uh, see where do we have to fit this abstract. Now, the uh, what should your abstract look like? The formatting of the abstract page is the same as the rest of the APA style paper, which means that it should be double spaced. We'll talk about this in detail in our thesis formatting video. So it should be double spaced. It should be in Times New Roman, 12 font and one inch margins from left and right side. So this is what you need to follow when you're writing the abstract. Now, this is very, very important to understand that what are the different components of an abstract. So in abstract, you, you're not there to tell a complete story about everything. You just need to summarize your paper or your research work. So make sure that you have all these five parts in your abstract, but at the same time, you do not overdo anything. So what you do, you start with the aim of your study. That what, what are the objective of your studies or what do you want to achieve? or what is the main aim of your study. Now in this, you can also discuss a little bit about the problem statement, a little bit about uh, why you wanted to do this research. So in one or two lines, as I've written short, but solid. So in one or two or maximum three lines, keeping in mind uh, the formatting requirement of your uh, university or of your uh, journal, but it should be short, still very solid. So you start with aim of the study. Then in a few lines, you describe your methodology, short, but solid. Two to three lines, but try and explain the maximum things that you can. Then the next part is the key finding of your research. Give a very brief uh, sentences that actually tells the reader uh, that what are the main findings of your research? What did you actually find? Then the fourth part is the contribution of the research. That how your research contributes towards uh, the body of literature in your area. So these are the four very essential part of the abstract that you need to write. And plus do not forget to add keywords at the end. It might not be taken as a component of uh, the abstract, but it should always be, always be presented at the end of your abstract. So when we'll, uh, in a few more slides, we are going to go to our uh, sample uh, abstract, then we are going to see how do we write these things. And then make sure that your keywords are accurately uh, represent the content, which means usually these are, for social sciences research, these are your variables or if any word that you want your reader to understand before reading your research, that can also be included in the keyword. And the, one of the other purposes of uh, keywords is that whenever somebody is finding uh, research work or published papers, they are going to type these keywords. And if your abstracts keywords and their searched keywords are going to match, they are going to uh, give your paper or your research uh, to that uh, person who's searching for uh, this kind of research. So these are the main components of the abstract that you must need to add. Then some of the do's and don'ts. There are many uh, restrictions and many uh, long explanation of these things, but a few things that people usually do which should not be done, or there are things that people do not do and that should be done. Now, if we just talk about the APA style, there must be one paragraph of the whole of your abstract. So they should not be paragraphs in your abstract. It should be one paragraph containing the, these elements that we just talked about. Then 
obviously your keywords are not part of that para paragraph they are after uh, that paragraph but these these four things they should be part of your one paragraph secondly uh, i'm sure uh, that many other styles they ask for the headings in abstract what are those headings the same headings usually the aim of the study the methodology the key finding and the contribution of the research sometimes they go for a little different headings but you need to make sure that what are your requirements but in apa style you do not give any headings in the abstract so make sure you're not giving any headings no references this is also very very important unless it is very essential or you cannot just write your abstract without a reference otherwise giving references citing uh, other people's work in your references is never ever encouraged it should always be avoided unless it is very essential so to be on the safe side do not give any references in your abstract because you are actually trying to summarize your work now it is not somebody else's work it is your work now so don't give any references and then uh, you need to write your abstract in present tense for example the study is conducted the data is collected the rest of the paper you have uh, different uh, recommendations by different styles but for abstract use the present tense now let's just go to one sample abstract and here we can just see that how we can uh now let's look at this abstract if you can just see that i have divided it with different colors and with different colors you can see that this first part is the problem statement or the main aim of the study and for example the dynamic organization like advertising agencies are especially required to be creative and innovative in order to lead grow and compete so here we are discussing the main objective of the study is to empirically investigate so this is this is where we are two or three lines we are discussing our uh, main aim or the objective of the study then this is the second part in which we are see within only two lines we are giving the complete uh explanation about our methodology for example the data for this study is collected through surveys distributed to the sample of 450 employees from the advertising agencies in pakistan various techniques are applied to statistically analyze the data to test the hypothesis so this is the methodology part that we are discussing and then we are talking about the finding part that finishes here and then at the last we have the contribution part here and see that this is all of this is in one paragraph all of this is in one paragraph it is uh the line spacing is two although it is centrally aligned in apa we usually do the left alignment but then you'll have to see the requirement of your university or the journal here the last thing that we need to see here is the keywords this is how you write the keywords which is one word usually uh people misconceive uh, it and write it key words as two separate words but keep in mind that it's only one word key words and then you give the name of your variables or uh, the terms that you want reader to first know before going to your uh analysis part so this is all about the abstract and in the next videos we'll be talking about uh some other things thank you very much